Hi, and welcome back to the Ride Chair Buddy YouTube channel. My name's Kevin. And today, I just want to do a little bit of a, uh, an explainer about Holo Taxis, uh, the taxi app, Holo. Because I had a notice from Holo today, this morning, about a driver who wants to use my private hire operator's um, license to work on Holo. I denied it. I said no, mainly because uh, I have a planning exemption on my private hire operator's license, which only allows me a maximum of two cars to want on my high, private hire operator's license. If I go over two cars, then I've got to go for planning permission and I will be denied planning permission for where I live. You won't be able to run from home. I'll have to get an office. I don't want that. Two cars, more than enough for what I want. It allows me to just pass the work on to a friend if I'm not able to do it. Uh, and apart from that, that's fine. So I said no. But I want to go and have a look at why this person wants to run on my driving operator's license. And it's from Driver Matty's video that he did. Uh, so I just want to clarify some things, which he... Let's say it's not very clear on his video. He seems to think that it's a driver's app. It is not. It is a hackney carriage driver and private hire operator's app. It is not a private hire driver's app. You cannot drive on Holler as a driver unless you have your own private hire operator's license or you go through a private hire operator, which is why I had this request. What it doesn't mean is that you as a driver can apply to Holla, jump on somebody else's uh, private hire operator's license, and then set your own fares and do your own work and do stuff like that. It doesn't work that way. So as a private hire operator stroke driver, I can sign up for Holla. I send off my private hire operator's license. That's all I need. It don't need any car details. It don't need your insurance. It don't need anything else. They just need your private hire operator's license. So I sign up. I can put in my own rates. I can put in my own shifts. I can put in all my details. And I can take work from Holla. And I have taken work from Holla. The Holla passenger app is active. He seems to think that it's not active. It is active. They are taking work. I have had... Um, job requests come through on Holla when I had the Holla app switched on. Not a lot at the moment, but it does happen, and it happens in Cardiff mainly. So it is active, it is operating, and passengers can book right now through Holla. But let's get back to the private hire drivers situation. Now, if you are not a private hire operator, you cannot sign up directly. You can submit your application, and then you can ask for uh, information to be sent to you about local private hire operators that you can sign up to. That doesn't mean that you can then set your own fares. You can't. Only private hire operators can set fares. That's the law. You, as a driver, cannot set fares. It's done through the operator. So the way it works is that you will come into my operator's license i set the fares you work from my fare settings not from your fare settings also the payment will come to me and then i pay you after i've taken off my commission as an operator so you as a just a private high driver cannot set your fares will not be paid directly from hala and you will still have to pay a commission to the operator you are on when going down. Do not think that Holla is a way for you to get around the law. Do not think that you can hang off the coattails of somebody else's operator's license and do what you want, because the operator is ultimately responsible and they won't do that. So don't think that this, this is a private hire driver's app. It is not. It is a Hackney Carriage app, and it is a private hire operator's app. They cannot give work out to drivers. You as a driver cannot set your rate. 
you will come under the operator's rights. So that's it. I just want to clarify that because I've had um, an application to drive under my operator's license. One, I'm not going to let somebody I don't know do what they want, undercutting me on my fares on Holler. They have to come under me as an operator and work to my fare structure. Two, I don't have the um, ability to take on drivers. I have a planning exemption. My planning permission doesn't allow me to take on more than two drivers, including myself. I can only have, operate two cars. If you're above that, I have to go to planning permission. Don't want that. I don't want the aggravation of getting involved in VAT. Because at the moment, private hire operators do have to charge VAT. Uh, that's been looked at, but at the moment, as the law stands, VAT is liable on your fare if you are driving for me as well as my fares, and that will take me through the VAT threshold, way through the VAT threshold. I don't want the aggravation. So I'm not taking on any drivers for Hala. I certainly wouldn't let any driver just use my operator's license without any sort of control over them. It just wouldn't happen because it's putting my livelihood at risk. So that's it. Think about that. Don't think that you as a driver are going to go into Hala, set your own rates, do your own work, do your own thing, unless you have your operator's license. My advice for anybody who wants to go to Hala, get your operator's license. If there's only one or two of you driving, if you and your wife say planning exemption will apply and you won't need planning permission, be very simple, very quick. Cost you a thousand pounds or so up front, but you'll get that back. My license cost me a thousand pounds, lasts for five years. I've more than made that thousand pounds in the first six months. Uh, it's not a problem. So I just want to clarify that. It's not for drivers. As a driver, you cannot accept work. You cannot take for work. You cannot uh, advertise yourself as available for work. Only operators can do that. And that's the other thing. Holler would integrate into your dispatch system as an operator. I don't have a dispatch system. Um, it's just me and a diary. So <laughs> they've got nothing to, uh, uh, dispatch, to tap into. And I'm not going to sit up all night taking bookings to give to you. It's not going to happen. So that's it. Just a little bit of clarification. It's not for drivers. It's for hackney carriage drivers. And it's for private hire operators. That's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. God bless. Safe driving. And have a profitable Easter.